Okay, here we are live at, let's see if I can get that in the field of view. Yes, there it's coming in. That is where I'm staying, Castle Adera. And here's the entranceway. It's a very beautiful place. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a better field of view here. There we go. All right. So, this is the entranceway. There is a gate here that is always locked. And I've just propped it open. Right here is where I came in. I'm just going to close this gate. All right. Here are the steps up to all the bungalows. And I'm just going to walk up here and show you guys what I see every day of my vacation. Yeah. So, if you're real lucky, you can find crabs here along the wall. Little bitty, like, albino crabs that come out. And they eat things and ants and whatever. There are three bungalows here underneath the, the villa upstairs. And one of them's back there around the comp corner. That's where our uncles are staying today. And then if you come up this way... There is another bungalow right here. That's where Scott and Vern are staying. And they call that their hobbit hole. Because of the door and other uh, places like that. Um, here are the steps up. There's another gate here that we lock at night. Right here is the, um, the third bungalow. And each one of these has like its own little courtyard. This one has a pool. And uh, you can see in there, they're very spacious, very nice. And uh, it's pretty neat. Anyway, uh, going up, we go up the stairs here. And this is the main, main terrace here. And Back there is the third, uh, third apartment. Right here is the second one. And there are two other apartments. These are empty right now. And, but each apartment has its own bathroom. And each bathroom, you know, is rather spacious for a Mexican bathroom. It has a toilet, a vanity, a tub. Excellent water pressure here. It has closet space and, you know, we have a air conditioning, but everything here is Venetian blinds, so there's not not much in the way of uh, I mean everything's air ventilated here. It's it's like beautiful 80 degrees year-round here. This is the back terrace and it is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So we get to see this every day. Um and got these ficus plants everywhere. And there's some of our people. We have people for that. And they're making up these back two apartments here. This is my apartment right here. But I'm not going to go in there. I think Lisa's taking a nap. Um, anyway, if we go back around here, we see the place where we eat lunch and dinner. Um, when we have a, a big party here, we fill up all of these spots, you know. And we eat right here under this giant permanent umbrella. And that's, that's a beautiful poolside thing here. And this is our beautiful terrace, poolside terrace, with lots of uh, sunbathing area. A beautiful, beautiful view of the city. And uh, see if I can focus. Yeah. Okay. And this goes outside of the living room and the kitchen. And up here's the kitchen. There's Uncle Mark making himself some coffee, grinding the beans. And the kitchen is awesome. It's uh we've got like this cupboard for all our glasses, uh refrigerator, gas range, uh, and just the view in here is just amazing. I mean, this this place is really gorgeous. It has uh, 
all this authentic Mexican style architecture. Everything's concrete and wood rafters. And um, this is our living room area. Hi. Where Scott and Lisa are living. <laughs> and the, the room, yes. <laughs> and uh, this place is gorgeous. There are lights everywhere, and at night it's really a sight, too. Uh, there's a wraparound terrace here as well. And um, they're doing construction over there, but for the most part, it doesn't really bother us. Um, this is the giant tree that uh, Iggy and Liz live in. See if we're lucky to see him now. But they come out and they walk along the rail, and we sit right here at night and drink. And uh, for the most part, this is my vacation spot. Gorgeous as it may seem, I'm doomed to a life of luxury. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye.